James, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you're running for and a little bit about your campaign? Well, thank you. I'm James Cargus. I'm running for the United States Congress in the 7th Congressional District, which is West Houston, starting at Kirby Drive and going all the way to Katy, down to Meyerland and north to New Jersey Village through uh, Cypher. Uh, it's a wonderful district. It includes the Energy Corridor. It includes a lot of people who work at the Texas Medical Center. I am an energy lawyer. Um, I'm actually Mayor Parker's energy lawyer right now. I started out after college working in the United States Congress back when Jim Wright was Speaker of the House. Went to law school in D.C. and uh, ultimately wound up working for uh, Bill Clinton in the White House uh, doing sustainable development. And I finished out the Clinton administration working for Governor Bill Richardson at the U.S. Department of Energy. Now, who is your opponent? My opponent is John Culberson. Now, tell me why should all voters elect you as opposed to Mr. Culberson? Well, like I said, uh, I'm an energy lawyer. My wife is a scientist in the Texas Medical Center. And the Houston Chronicle endorsed me in the primary saying I was tailor-made for the district. Now, compare that to the incumbent, Culberson, and his Tea Party. Um, there are 122 companies that depend upon the Export-Import Bank right here, yet he wants to kill the bank. There are 45 wind companies in the district, but he made sure that their tax credit went away. Uh, the uh, worst traffic in Harris County is in Congressional District 7, yet he works hard every day to kill light rail and public transportation. Um, the list goes on. There are um, thousands of people in this district who benefit from the Affordable Care Act, yet Culberson votes 53 times to kill it, not amend it, I would love an opportunity to expand it, especially into mental health. Now it seems to me like both Democrats and specifically Republicans should want to vote for you based on your platform. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm focusing my campaign on the 278,000 people who did not vote in 2012. The votes are there today. This is not a red district. This is a non-voting district. But along the way, I've had a lot of moderate Republicans and business people come up and thank me for running and saying that they're going to vote for me because, first and foremost, Congress' responsibility is a federal budget. And, and the, the Tea Party Congress is not meeting that obligation. James Cargas, thank you very much. The next Texas Congressional District 7 representative. Thank you very much.